pleased with the decision of the judge to keep the bond in place as is. And that means two EMS workers charged with murder are staying behind bars. A judge denied their ask for a reduction in bond. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Both Peter Cadigan and Peggy Finley's bonds remain at a million dollars each. They're accused of killing Earl Moore Jr. after placing him face down on a stretcher with restraints. WCI 3's Theodora Coulevars is live in downtown Springfield. Theodora, what factored into the judge's decision? Well, Jennifer, the judge overseeing today's hearing said the bond is appropriately set given that they are both facing first degree murder charges and the sentence that that carries. Finley's lawyers called the bond, quote, oppressive and asked for her bond to be lowered to $100,000. Cadigan's lawyers asked for his bond to be set at $50,000. Also in the courtroom today was Earl Moore Jr.'s family. They're suing the workers and the ambulance company they work for in a civil lawsuit. The family's lawyers testified describing the impact the case has had on them. The family is grieving. I think it was even stated by one of the defense attorneys that this case is hard to wrap your mind around. Well, that is one of the few statements that I agree with today. This is hard for the family to wrap their mind around the fact that Earl Moore is gone. Last week, we told you the state's attorney filed a motion. In it, he says that Finley attempted to influence the recollection of one of the Springfield police officers who responded to the call. He's also asking the judge to forbid certain statements the two EMS workers, along with their lawyers, made during the preliminary trial from being used again in court. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Colavares, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you.